Hey, this is just a video showing various prototypes I went through to get to the final the matrix product that I've designed. This is um this was version one. The main matrix board was separated from a baseboard, which is here. Um, this handled battery charging. This board. Um, also had like an accelerometer, some buttons. Uh, I believe that was a flash chip on there. Yeah, data flash. Um, it also had room for a wireless. Um, I can't remember the exact model, but it, it's just a wireless breakout board from SparkFun. Um, what was going to happen was this display would just fit on top. Uh, some headers. Um, I had some wacky idea of twisting the headers from to match so they go they twist 90 degrees to fit onto this top board. Yeah you could probably tell that didn't really take off. The um this display board works works fine by itself though. Um, just like the next um, prototype I have, but this one featured um, eight syncing NPN transistors, um, and I think it's an 80 mega 88p on there, so it's an 8k AVR part. Uh, this this one had the same microcontroller, and it's just it was going. It's set up so it can run a um the virtual USB software stack. Uh, that that didn't really take off because of the whole twisting of the headers and stuff like that. So I designed a second one, which is shown here. Is the um that's the display board. This one didn't feature um syncing MOSFETs. Just a few resistors on the back there. Um, it was wired directly to the microcontroller. Uh, it, the hope that I would be able to, the microcontroller would be able to um, read back from the LED panel, which does work. Uh, it's fairly hard because this is actually quite, quite small. So it's fairly hard to get like a laser pointer to just point at one single pixel. But this design also has has headers on the back. Um, you can't put a battery directly onto it, so that, that's just the um, it's just SPI over those headers, and that pin there is the reset pin for the chip, so you can program it. Uh, this was the base board, which has the same wireless breakout board. Um, has a micro USB, two buttons, it's a LED at the top, in the back, it's got an accelerometer, data flash as well, I think, in memory, and this um, programming connector. The microcontroller on this one was uh, the AT90162, USB part. Um, it's an AVR, but it's, a, it's an older one, but it's got an inbuilt USB hardware stuff, so it can go, it's probably a little easier to program than um, the first one. It had to use a software USB stack, uh, but yeah, overall it was, it was too complicated programming, so um, that was abandoned. But as you can see, the um, the display works on its own, except it doesn't have a battery or anything. Um, the third design, I decided to use a larger display. So here, the larger display enabled me to um, put on a coin cell battery holder. Also gave me more room to put things in. So this one had four buttons. They call it the 8x8 because it's the... Um, it's an 8 by 8 pixel high color display. Um, yeah, it's uh, driven by an MSP microcontroller. 
which I've taken off and I haven't cleaned up the solder there. I'll tell you why I took it off, because see these jumpers, uh, the connections for the display. Um, that label there indicates pin 1 of that connector and they're actually wired 1 through I think it's to 16 anyway it, it's it's 1 up and then it, it's the same on this side whereas the um, it should have been going around like this so it'll be like 1 to 10 and then 11 to 20 but it's wired 1 to 10, 11 to 20, which didn't work. So I did do a bit of fiddling with the software to get the display working, but it, it didn't work very well. So I, I did a redesign. This um, this board, uh, you just use the audio router in um, Eagle. Yeah, it's not very pleasant. And I forgot to... Um, to cover all these wires with the solder mask so um, there could be problems introduced with the battery shorting. This one was the larger version 16 by 8. It, it had the same problem as this board so I never populated it but it's also got four buttons. It had headers so you could extend it to another one and the shift registers would work through it. Um, same microcontroller, it's a um, MSP430G2231 part, but it's just like a value line device, 16 megahertz, 2K flash. Um, so yeah, this, this was abandoned because obviously had the same problem as the first one. But um, this also used the auto router. You can see this side I um, set it up to travel in this direction. And the other side was the other direction. So, I mean, it looks interesting, but it's, it's really messy and inefficient. So this was the third design, which I, I called version 1.0, so it doesn't, I didn't actually put a version number on it. But this was made with Seed Studios, no, ITed Studio, um, their PCB service. So um, the others were with um, Layens PCB service, and this one has the same microcontroller, same 74HC595 shift registers. This one had 16 N-channel MOSFETs to um, sync the columns. Uh, that that works quite well compared to the others. I'll show you in a minute. And it's got the battery pack on the back. I only put one button in because I um I didn't have enough room when I was I was routing in Eagle by hand. And um I didn't stuff up the connections to the display. So this was the final product with the display. Um it's got the battery pack, button, programming header. Uh the programming header doesn't have to be populated. You can program it just directly, but this one was my first, the first one I built up, so I wanted to put it on so I could um, test out, we'll be able to like plug it in a lot more than just the PCB itself. So put the battery in, so it's running through. Um, the display doesn't flicker like that, it's just the camera picking it up. Um, it, no, the frame rate's alright, it could be increased a bit. But it, I just basically programmed it to cycle through a few phases. And see it's a glitch just there before. It's, um, it's not perfect just yet. I'm still working on the code. But yeah, that's about it. So I went through what you could say was four revisions, but they're kind of two separate products. This, um, this new one and like these first ones. They're, they're quite a bit different. Um, yeah, it's the time.